what's up people it's og right here and it's good to have you in case you're coming across my channel for the first time please do remember to subscribe click on to the notification bell so that you will be notified anytime i make a new upload and to my returning subscribers thank you so much all right so a nigerian university student who was arrested and detained a few weeks ago has on the grounds of defaming the president's wife that is um President Mohammed Buhari's wife on Twitter has apologized to the first lady. Okay, Aminu Adamu Mohammed, as he is called, was released last week by the authorities. They said they dropped the charges based on compassionate ground. So, uh, Mr. Mohammed denied spreading false information during a court appearance. He denied defaming Aisha Buhari in a tweet which was suggesting that she, Aisha Buhari, misused public money to her own satisfaction. <laughs> so after he was released, the 24-year-old uh, undergraduate student apologized to uh, the first lady saying that in fact this is what he said quote and unquote it was never my intention to hurt your feelings ma <laughs> i promise to change for better he also thanked the president's wife for forgiving him and describing her as a mother actually he made this all in his twitter page and he also went to describe his experiences while he was detained as the darkest hours of his life and he also expressed his um, heartfelt gratitude to those who showed him support saying his case should serve a lesson to all of the people well guys this guy's arrest and the subsequent apology that he made to mrs buhari has sparked up a lot of controversies on social media yes so many people or rather some people are saying that it was the first lady that should apologize to him for being treated the way he was treated. And some are also saying that he did the right thing by apologizing to this first lady just in order to resolve the dispute. Well, I don't know where this guy got that his information to make such a tweet. Yeah, I don't know. But the thing is that... Um, uh, Amnesty International had said that this Mohammed, the undergraduate, was subjected to torture and other forms of ill treatment after he was arrested. I mean, I don't see why you should treat someone this way just because they made a comment. I, I don't really understand what is going on. Is this not democracy? Yeah, it's an allegation. No findings were made. Why should you put this young boy through this, through torture, for making just a comment? Not just that, a few uh, um, uh, weeks ago also, two TikTok users were also fined and flogged in public after a court found them guilty of defaming the governor of, another, uh, of, of uh, uh, Kano State. What is all that? Can't we say our mind... Or, 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 or can't people just even do comedy? Because these TikTok guys, I believe that we are doing it as a joke, which we all know that is true. So many of our Nigerian politicians has been, has been squashing Nigerians' money. And they are getting away with it. But you cannot let the people talk. For what? Yeah? Because you have the power. You have the power to do whatever you want. Well, I will. I, I, I don't really like this, and I will also criticize this Buhari's government for doing nothing, for doing absolutely nothing when it comes to security, for doing nothing when it comes to education, for doing nothing when it comes to healthcare system, for doing nothing when it comes to our economy. I don't know what Nigeria has turned to. Our politicians has made this country so unbearable. And it is most affecting the poor masses. We cannot say our minds. We cannot live peacefully. Nothing works in Nigeria. We hope to see a new Nigeria, a better Nigeria. So come 2023, we hope to choose our president by ourselves. Because all these things that's happening now, this is not what we bargained for. Everybody has their right. 
and as a matter of fact uh, um, uh, uh, you are imposing on people's right of living yes how can you hold somebody responsible put the person to torture because the person made a comment it is only in Nigeria and in Africa that such thing can happen it is not fair we hope to see a Nigeria that will put us put the people before all these peoples that are claiming to be in power that are claiming to be gods we elect you as a leader believing that you are going to bring us out from the hardship that we are in that you are going to put the people's life before every other thing but here we are there's no security in Nigeria nothing works in Nigeria and the poor masses are suffering it as a matter of fact we chose Buhari as our leader back in 2015 because we see him as someone that is worthwhile of saving Nigeria from the situation that it was as a 2015 having the, the military background that he has. But unfortunately, he failed us woefully. Nigeria became much more worse than it was back in 2015. And we are supposed to accept that? No, we cannot. Come 2023, we are going to put on that seat the people that will deliver Nigeria from the current situation that it is in. Yes, we need a Nigeria that works all right guys so this is how i'll be wrapping up the video please do leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what you think about all this all the apology the arrest and all that i would very much want to see your opinion in the comment section all right see you in the next video ciao